Welcome to another lesson and today we are going to be talking about some people who have contributed to the development of the nation Ghana in one way or the other. Okay, so before any country can develop, people in the country have to work hard. Mm? And there are some Ghanaians who have worked hard to help in the development of the nation. Okay, so we're going to be discussing some of these people. So the first person on the list is a woman called Madame Theodosia Salome Oko. Okay. She was a Ghanaian teacher and was also an artist. Okay. She used to teach, sorry, and also used to, she was also an artist. Okay. So who, when we say an artist, an artist is a person who draws pictures of people and other things. Okay. The person who draws pictures. So she was the one who designed the Ghana flag. So if you could remember when we talked about the change of name from Ghana to Gold Coast, we saw that after the change of name to Ghana, a new flag was designed. Do you remember that? Yes. So that flag was designed by this very woman that we are talking about this morning. This morning. Okay, so the flag was designed by this woman. So this, you can see Madame Theodosia Oko holding a flag on my left and then the flag that he designed on my right. So this is Madame Theodosia Oko and then the flag that she designed. Now the next person is Ni Amon Kote, who was also an artist. Okay, he was also an artist. Apart from being an artist, he was a musician and then a surveyor. And he designed the coat of arms. So when we saw the Ghana flag in the previous lesson, we also saw coat of arms there. Okay, so this is the man who designed the coat of arms. Ni Amon Kote was the man who designed the coat of arms. Now the third person is a man called Babayara. He was a footballer and he played teams like the Asante Kotoko. Royal Republicans and also the Black Stars. He scored so many goals in so many matches and he was nicknamed King of the Wingers. Mm -hmm. The Kumasi Sports Stadium is also named after him because of how he played for Ghana and he won the National Best Player of the Year for two times. Okay, so he, in all, he was a very good footballer who helped in the development of Ghanaian football. So a stadium has been named after him. The stadium is in Kumasi. It's in the Ashanti region. So this is the stadium that has been named after the man Babayara. So when you go to Kumasi, the stadium is called Babayara Sports Stadium. The fourth person is a man called Ifrim Amu. He is called Ifrim Amu. He is a Ghanaian composer and author. He composed the patriotic song Yen Ara Assassini and then Yanum Epibima among other songs. Okay. So he was a composer and then an author. He composed the song Yen Ara Assassini. This song is usually sung at um, national gatherings, sometimes in school. During um, assembly, it is sung. Mm -hmm. Okay. So this is the song and it tells it has so many components that tells us about how we should work hard and avoid selfishness as um, a country or as a people okay the things that we can do to help our country to develop and the things that we do to make our country underdeveloped okay so the the song goes like it reads Yen Ara Assassini and I bought in my Moja Nananu Shiegu Dindinya Toho Mai Afe de a do me no one so so say a baby at Waso Nim Dien Traso and go to Crane Ne Pesem Kumina dear a dear M. Y. A dear Bremu dem am I a sassy or so? Yes, I say who out to Sem. So a man be you, so a man ring you. A yen send a ho, Emma, a man for branch. So 
whether the country will develop or not it's the lifestyle of the people in the country that will tell you that the country will develop or it will not develop now the next person is Kofi Antobam he was a Ghanaian painter and a sculptor so he's he, he, he can carve um, objects out of trees or even use um, cement to carve things so he studied at the art school of goldsmiths college in london he is one of the founders of ghana's national school of painting he taught arts and craft at the achimota school so in the picture right there you see the man he is called kofi antobam and these are some of the things that some of, some of his artworks these are some of his artworks okay some of the artworks of kofi antobam the last person is called Pinto Lanza. He is a Ghanaian filmmaker. He writes, directs, and produces movies. Okay, he produced movies such as Love Brood in African Pot 1980 and then Heritage Africa 1989. He has received several awards for his work. He is a very good film director, producer, and then film writer. Right. So these are some of a few people who have helped in the development of Ghana in one way or the other. I hope you now know a few things about people who have helped in the development of the nation Ghana. All right. So until I see you again next time, continue reading, keep on learning. Like I always say, keep on reading your books. And I'll see you in another lesson.